Hello there YouTube, little project I made. I do have an in-depth video deciding whether to load it. It's two parts, it got pretty long. A simple sewing needle, you can sew canvas tarps together. The idea is I just flatten the metal down on the anvil. Mild eighth inch steel rod. I use my little Dremel bit. I'm going to tell a macro here. Try to get that in there. Little Dremel bit, diamond bit, because the drill bit will wander. And I just started slowly and ground a hole in there. It made a dimple on this side, so I went and found the little dimple you'll see before a bit comes through. Use various stones like these just to round it off, smooth it off, flatten it out. And use my emery stone, the polish. These are rubbery little emery wheel. And on the hole, I flared it with one of these. I didn't make it bigger, I just got in there and I flared it. I like the pointy end. You can do it on a bed grinder. I just tapered this down and tapered it down. And then when I finally got it the way I like it, I used my sanding drum and the Dremel. So you can get a wider area. And you can go at an angle. If you drive like this, you wear a groove in your stones and your stuff. Go at an angle and smooth it and twirl it in your fingers like this. And it will make, like you know how a drill bit is, it will make a more even point as you're doing this. Just a simple little tool. You can sew canvas together, tarps. And you can curve these and bend them. You'll have like a curved upholstery needle. This one's a little more cruder. It's not as refined on the end. And the hole's bigger. So I wanted two different types. The smaller you make this head, the easier to go through the material. So I wanted two different types. This be for bigger stuff on the left smaller stuff on the right. Fishing string, there's braided fishing line. I'm sure if you sewed a tarp or something together it would hold good enough for what you want to use it for. You could take this long going camping, have it down in your backpack put away. You could repair a lot of stuff out there at the campsite with just a simple fishing string. Good enough that short video. I do have an in-depth video how I did it. I had to make two parts. but. From what I've showed here, it's pretty simple. You just hammer it flat, grind your nice round shape after you make your hole. Make your hole first, so then if it is off a little bit, when you grind, you can keep it even. So make your hole in there first, so it's flattened, make your hole, then shape it. That way you mess it up, you haven't did a whole lot of work. Don't do all this work and then make the hole. Make the hole first. If you mess up, to start over again. It might be shorter. These are about seven inches long. Oops. One's at least seven inches long. They will rust. You'd want to wax them, grease them. Then they don't rust on you. You can always tune them up with emery paper or sandpaper. If your point got a little buggered up, you could always, you know, redo it. This will poke you. It'll draw blood. You can make that sharp as a regular needle you want to. You want to work on it enough. So be careful. Wear your safety goggles. You're grinding on stuff like this. You don't want it hitting and flying at you. Wear, always wear your goggles. Or a full face shield. Enough of that video. Thanks for watching.